Hayes, if you're familiar with them. Mm-hmm. Or, um, let's see, uh, Pretty Maids. Um, oh, wow. Some of the other, yeah, some of the other hard rock bordering on metal kind of bands. Um, who was it that had, uh, you mentioned them on last week's show. Uh, uh, they had a, a CD called uh, Sex, Lies, and Power. Um, who am I thinking of? But at any rate, they are a band that if you enjoy good, and I know you're going to say that you're going to, you're going to clown on me for saying this, but if you enjoy good melodic hard rock or heavy metal, and don't give me this, Oh, it's all melodic. No, it's not. Listen to Meshuggah. Um, get outside of that. If you enjoy good melodic hard rock or heavy metal, check out Meridian. Their CD breaking the surface is phenomenal. Uh, they're a Danish band that deserves recognition. Wow, cool. Well, I will definitely have to check that out. No, you got me on that. It, the name sounds familiar, but it just could be somebody else I'm thinking of. But uh can't say I've heard any other stuff, so I'm excited to check them out. So what song are we playing from that, man? Well, we're going to check out the second track off of uh, Breaking the Surface. It's called Hero Forever, and here it is. All right, cool. Let's check it out. This is Meridian, Hero Forever, Biv's best man you never heard of. Here it goes.
That was Hero Forever off of Breaking the Surface, uh, the album from Meridian, the band that is the best band you've never heard of, at least according to Biv. And, uh, you know, when you're mentioning bands like Pretty Maids in the same sentence as Meridian, boing. so if that's the case, then I'm pretty excited to hear more from Meridian. And Biv doesn't let us down ever when it comes to uh, uh, Biv's best band and metal recommendations that you need to check out. And uh, I'm excited to hear more of their stuff. Biv, thanks for telling me about it. Oh, my pleasure, and believe me, for every one that I bring to the surface, there's dozens that are so close to making it, so there's a lot of great music out there, there's a lot of great resources out there to find new music, all I can do is expose one to you every couple of weeks. Well, and Biv likes to expose himself, and bands that are bands that you've never heard of that you need to hear of and speaking of exposing yourself and speaking of bands that uh are best bands that most people just haven't got a chance to check out yet if you are in a band that you think is right up biv's alley right up our alley a band that we need to check out if you think your album is incredible and more than me will need to check out your music and hear more about it or if you know somebody who's in a band who you feel is the perfect band to highlight on Biv's Best Band You Never Heard Of, well, the easiest way to do that is send us your stuff. Let us check it out. Let us hear more about your band and the music that you guys have. And the best way to do that is just to send us an email at accordingtometal at gmail.com. That's accordingtometal at gmail.com. Send us your stuff. We'll check it out. We'll listen to it. We'll review it. And if you're lucky enough, and I mean, look, Biv has a really, really high bar and standards. But if you happen, happen to be lucky enough, you could be the next Biv's best band we've never heard of. Hi, this is Kim Olsen of Anubiscape, and you're listening to According to Metal. That was Born in Dissonance off of Meshuggah's most recent album, The Violent Sleep of Reason. And this is a review I'm going to do solo um, because uh, extenuating circumstances, that's all I'll say. But uh, flying solo on this review. But don't worry, Biv's got his own thoughts on an EP later on that we're going to talk about. Um, But um, Meshuggah's a band that you either love or hate. There is no middle ground. There is no, yeah, they're kind of cool. Either you get it and you like them or you freaking can't stand them and think they suck. Um, my brother, for example, is in the, the latter group. Um, not a fan, hates them, doesn't understand why people like them. I will tell you this, Biv, and you probably don't even know this. I, when we first met, you were trying to really get me into the, the metal that was more up your alley, which was, you know, prog metal. Always has been. Um, for me, as you know, that wasn't what I was into. I was into metal. Um, and there were some metal bands that we had some similarities on. But there was a lot of stuff I listened to that you're like, yeah, no, I'm good. Because at the time I listened to, to, you know, my metal was more straightforward. You know what I mean? I was, you know, more of a, a, a Slayer, Pantera, Metallica, Megadeth, but then also some some In Flames, some Soilworks, some Opeth, you know, more of the, uh, I guess what you would call traditional sounding, uh, either, you know, American thrash metal or, you know, kind of the, the Swedish melodic death stuff. I mean, that was my two camps of metal that I was really into. And Prague to me just never just the off timiness of it and the the noodling around just was a big turnoff for me. And one of the interesting things, Biv, and you probably never knew this, is the band, there's two bands that I credit to getting me into listening to more experimental prog-ish like metal. And that is Meshuggah and Death. <laughs> um, you wow. know, yeah, because Death, of course, was 
a progressive death metal band. I mean, that's the only way that you can word who they were. And Meshuggah, when I first heard them, was just really off-timed and, you know, really time signatures were just all over the place and it just was, it sounds like noise to a lot of people and that's all there is to it. Um, but for some reason, for me, I just, they always had this incredible vibe of uh, like this fear factory, like just heavier than sin metal. Um, and they continue to do that. And, and when it comes to Meshuggah, um, you know, they've had some, their, their hot and cold albums. Chaos Fear to me was by far their best thing they've ever done. Um, you know, nothing was okay. Coloss, which is their most recent album, was okay. Uh, Catch 33 was, yeah, it was okay. But Obzen was freaking phenomenal. Um, and so, you know, you're looking at the Violent Sleeper Reason. It's been a good amount of time since they've come out with their last album. What can you expect from uh, the band? And I'm telling you what, folks, this is arguably the best Meshuggah album I've heard. It's right up there with Chaos Fear. It's my absolute favorites. It starts out with a, a very long track for Mashuga, especially. I mean, obviously, they've done some one-offs with, you know, their EP they did with I and stuff like that. But, you know, Clocksworth or Clocksworth, Clockwork starts out the album, uh, uh, you know, a seven and a half minute track. Um, but it's just all over the place, but heavier than hell. Born in Dissonance, which I just played for you a little bit ago. Monstrosity by the ton. Violent Sleep of Reason, by the way, it's the fifth track, title track incredibly killer album or killer song um our rage won't die which is towards the back end of the album one of my favorites that stands out to me um and into decay which uh, closes out the album and it's funny because i was actually having a conversation about this album a little bit um with tony piccoli from uh imminent sonic destruction who's a mashuga fan and he messaged me when he was listening to into decay and said dude it's not even fair how heavy this shit is uh, <laughs> because uh, it, it's just it's just a huge slab of just heavy as hell metal. It's the only way I can say it. And you can love them, you can hate them, but I mean, you know, for God's sake, I mean, you can credit Meshuggah to basically being the the pioneer of the gent uh, category of metal. I mean, that's what it is at this point. And they're just incredibly influential as a band. You may love them, you may hate them, but you can't deny their influence in heavy metal. And, you know, with the, the their, their different approach of having drums being the first thing they record, and really basing a lot of the music around the drums versus, you know, your typical band, which doesn't run a riff or a piano or keyboard or something. You know, these guys just have always done it differently and they always push the envelope. They always do something that's different. They've never done before. This album, a lot of it was recorded live, like all in the same room type of situation, um, which they've never done before. Um, just they always push the envelope. They always try to do something new. And for a band who's been around as long as they've been and continue to write, in my opinion, the best stuff they've written in damn near 20 years. Um, my absolute hat goes off to Meshuggah on this album. They absolutely knocked it out of the park. If you're a Meshuggah fan, you already get it. You probably already checked this out. If you are a Meshuggah hater, this isn't going to make you like them. I'm going to tell you that right now. And if you're kind of on the fence, which there's probably like three of you because it's a lover. 